You are the operations manager for an airline and you are considering a higher fare level for passengers in aisle seats. How many randomly selected air passengers must you survey? Assume that you want to be 99% confident that the sample percentage is within 2.5 percentage points of the true population percentage. Part A says, assume that nothing is known about the percentage of passengers who prefer aisle seats. The formula for calculating an appropriate sample size for estimating a proportion is to multiply p hat by q hat and then multiply that by the square of z over the margin of error. We can find the z score using StatCrunch. We will press Stat, Calculators, Normal. We will leave the mean at zero and the standard deviation at one since we're looking for a z score. We are to find the z score for a 99% confidence interval. That means that 1% of the distribution would be split into two tails. So one half of a percent in each tail. So we will make sure that this last box says 0 0.005. Click compute and we find a Z value of 2.576. E, the margin of error we're told in the problem is 2.5 percentage points. So we will use 0 0.025. But what about P hat and Q hat? We are told nothing about an estimate for p hat and q hat in the problem. So let's look at what happens for varying values of p hat and q hat. Recall that q hat is the complement of p hat. In the formula, we are to multiply them together. If p hat is 0 0.1, then q hat would be 0 0.9, and their product would be 0 0.09. If p hat is 0 0.2, then q hat would be 0 0.8, and their product would be 0 0.16. If we continued this, we would find that the maximum value for the product p hat times q hat occurs at 0 0.25. So in order to ensure that our confidence level and our precision is not compromised, when we have no estimate for p hat and q hat, we will use 0 0.25 for the product p hat times q hat. Substituting into the formula, we would find 2,654.3104. But since we can't survey a part of a person, we will always round up when estimating sample sizes. So the appropriate sample size would be 2,655. The B part says to assume that a prior survey suggests that about 34% of air passengers prefer an aisle seat. In this case, we do have an estimate for P hat. So when we substitute into the formula, we would substitute 0 0.34 for P hat and 0 0.66 for Q hat. Z and E will remain the same. When we perform this calculation, we find a value of 2,382.509015. Again, we round up, so the appropriate sample size would be 2,383.